I come from a family who are directly descendants from the Incas. Native communities believe water is life. How many PhD degrees do you need to learn that? It's simple. My name is Constantino Aucachutas. I'm a biologist. Along the Andes, we have one of the most beautiful views. There are a lot of glaciers. I have been sitting with one of these locals on the highlands. He said that mountain 30 years ago was covered on with the snow, but now nothing. And I saw that in every single place, glaciers are melting. The forest is disappearing and worse, how much water is going down. The challenge that we have is we have the private sector, we have the mining companies. We must work hard to try to run faster than the destruction. And my grandfathers called me immediately and they said, you are a warrior, you are a fighter, go and fight. In Action Andina, we are not just hundred trees planted or a thousand trees planted. We are going for millions. We need to plant all these millions of trees along all the Andes to secure the water. If those ecosystems doesn't exist, no water. Near to the glaciers, there are the highland native forests of polylepis. With all the vegetation that grows around the tree, with the moss covered, works like a sponge. If we planted 60,000 trees, it means 60,000 holes catching water, increasing more the level of the lakes, everything. At Action Andina and Ecoan, we have more than 25,000 indigenous families working along all the Andes, planting more than 60,000 trees in a single day. This is the communal work. It's better to work with the local communities. Why? They, in the future, they are going to be engaged in the process and they are going to be the perfect allies because we are reviving that ancient practice from the indigenous culture. I pray a lot for more life to continue doing more conservation. My hope is to convince and replicate this model for all the world. The formulas and the solutions are in front of you not a magic formula that you can find by internet. For me, it's very important that everybody has to respect to all these native and local communities. Conservation without money is just conversation. If you didn't include local communities, it's very bad conversation. Let's rescue indigenous knowledge. Join generation restoration. <laughs>